let's yeah, let's just follow this for a second. Oh wow, this is This is interesting. Okay, we came down that way. Wow, this is like the biggest cave I think I've seen in this game. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to do stuff. Uh, we have more things to explore. Uh, I did do a little bit of work around the base itself. Basically, what I did was I added storage all the way around um, the main room here, and then I separated out um, these items into their own, um, their own storage because they were combined to be four. And one of you guys gave me a really good tip in the comments. I don't know why in the hell this did not occur to me, but it didn't. And uh, you said, t you know, when you have a bunch of extra things like, you know, super alloy and iridium uh, that you take and just turn them all into rods. And if you happened to need the individual pieces, you can just take the rods over to the recycler and break them back down and get all of them back. Just brilliant. I mean, very simple, but, <laughs> but brilliant. Uh, so, you know, because I had tons and tons of iridium, uh, so I broke those down into rods. I had almost a full case of uranium, and of course we had quite a bit of super alloy, uh, which I also turned into rods. And then we still have super alloy all over the, all over the place. I haven't even brought it all back here yet. I also did make one trip back to the osmium extractor, and um, you know got more of that. So we have almost a full chest of osmium, which is a beautiful thing. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much where we are. Um, so we got a couple new things that we want to make uh, in this episode and then if you know if time is on our side what we're gonna do is we're gonna go do some more exploring let's zoom this guy out um, oh by the way our meteor crater with the big iridium uh, meteorite is uh, the fog is all gone and now it's got a bunch of water and the meteorite in the middle we might want to run down there before um, before uh I, I think i i heard somewhere that that meteorite eventually disappears um and there may be a few more rods and stuff on it so we should go check that out we still haven't been in this area or this area and we just kind of briefly poked our head into the canyon area but it would be nice to go back down there and do a little more exploration too we did explore this area here in the last episode uh, okay, and also the, another interesting thing I've noticed is that only the waterfall, from what I can tell anyway, um, you know, where we are, has trees. Uh, when I go, I went back to grab a load at our lakeside base, and there's still no trees over here. So maybe we need to launch some more rockets or something uh, to make that happen. As you can see, we're 25% of the way towards the insects stage, and... Things are cranking along beautifully here. Uh, we're almost uh, to the probably billion, billion mark there on the pressure. And it occurred to me too that uh, if I wanted to, I don't necessarily need to, but if I wanted to, I could probably tear down everything that's over at the original base um, and you know still be absolutely fine. So we might do that at some point to recoup some of the materials um, just because you know, one tier four heater does produces more heat than all of these guys combined, and then some that I have, you know, over in that shack over there, just as an example. We have some new things to try out. Um, let's take a look. We have the nuclear fusion generator, which we're going to try. Uh, we have the auto crafter. That might be a good thing to use to put you know, the extra iridium and uh, uranium and super alloys in and just have it make rods for us. Uh, so we'll, we'll check those things out. And we have the tree spreader. Uh, ooh, wow, tier five heater. Uh, the tree spreader that I want to also mess around with. So those are kind of our new things to, to, ch to check out. Let's start with the fusion reactor. Uh, so this thing is going to need... Uh, where is it at? Here. Uh, it's going to need five pulsar quartz and four supers. Now, I was thinking, too, maybe what we ought to do 
is go plop down a tier two ore extractor in the uranium cave and one in that, that cave that's over by the Stargate where we found the Pulsar Quartz. And hopefully it'll grab that as opposed to the osmium because we already have an osmium extractor. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to try that out. Okay, so we needed five of these. And we needed four supers, I believe it was. And look at that. We already are going to have to break our, one of our rods back down. But that's not a problem. Okay. I'll throw that aluminum back in there. And um, we needed four supers in total, I think. Okay, so is that everything to make this sucker? Yes, it is. All right, and look at this. Again, um, this guy makes 1,485 energy units compared to 331 uh, that this guy makes. So this one is almost three times uh, capacity, three, three times more capacity. Okay, so let's see what the size of this thing is. Oh, <laughs> it's not that big at all. Okay, um, really? I guess not. Well, okay, that's 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 a good thing, I think. Um, all right, you know what? If that is the case, maybe what we could do is put this row here. Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we start a row here? And we'll go back all the way to here. Look at that. That's crazy. Nuclear fusion, baby. <laughs> all right. So we should have a lot of extra power now. Almost um, just because this one's kind of off by itself. We could take that one down and just get the mats back and still have way, way, way more power than we had before. I think I'm going to do that just because, I don't know, I want to. There. Okay. So, yeah, we'll, as we need to continue to increase power, we'll just start putting the, the fusion reactors along here. I was expecting those to be larger because um, usually the higher the tier, the larger, but apparently it doesn't need to be for that. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we got uh, some rods back, which is good. Um, see that? See, I finally used control click. I know you guys have been waiting forever for me to do that. Or not. <laughs> uh, okay, we got that in, and we got also an explosive powder back, uh, which we'll put into Hitha. And, uh, yeah, we're just about completely full on methane. Um, let's see, I put the larva that we brought back over here in the tree seeds thing for now. Uh, speaking of which, let's grab this because that's the next thing we're going to do is make ourselves a tree spreader. Um, I've been remiss in continuing to harvest those, but we're, we're doing pretty good. Okay, so let's go in here and the tree spreader is this guy. We're going to need a super, a bacteria sample, a tier one furt, a bio, and a tree bark. So maybe we don't need this after all. I don't know what we do with that. Uh, we'll figure it out, though. Need a bioplastic. Um, a tier one fertilizer. What else did it say we needed? A bacteria sample. Okay, we'll have to make that. I need to go get some more algae, too, at some point. And, um, yeah, we'll grab some water on the way out there. Um, and, and a super. Okay. All right, so this is a tree spreader. Um, one of the things I've noticed is that we don't really have a lot of trees on this side of the waterfall. So, why don't we... Why is that red?
Insert a tree seed in this degree first. Place oh, place on a water surface. Really? Hmm. Okay. That's weird. Like water trees? I should actually probably move my algae. This generates 736 thingies of uh, oxygen and also contributes to plants uh, compared to our tier two flower spreaders. Yeah, okay, that is definitely a step in the right direction. All right, well, it wants this to be on the water, so. We'll see how that works. I don't, uh, oh, I just got an achievement called Jungle. Craft your first tree spreader. Hmm. Okay, well, hopefully that means the trees will start to grow out here. I don't really want them to grow in the water. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how that works out. This is all brand new territory to me, and I just love it, too. I'm having such a good time with this game. Okay, so we got the tree spreader down. We'll see what that thing does. Um, uh, what's next? Let's go back to the base here. Uh, we'll grab that water out of there and drink one. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Sorry. We do have to put the tree thingy in there, don't we? That's right. Linfolia. All right. Um, so how do we get more tree seeds? It seems to me like that linfolia is something we must have looted from somewhere. Maybe there's some mechanism that's going to pop up where we can make tree seeds. I wanted to look and see what our power is, too. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's a shit ton of power. I love it. Okay. Um, why is everything blue? Is this a new kind of meteor storm? Alright. What's going on? An Osmium meteor storm? Oh, look at that! It's an Osmium meteorite storm, you guys! Wow! Okay! This game just never fails to impress. So I guess when you start getting to, you know, a certain index level, the game just starts throwing you these higher level ores because it knows you're going to need them. Where's that one going to hit? That one hit up there. What we'll do is we'll... We'll do the usual and, you know, we'll wait for all the debris to clear before we loot everything. Oh, that, really? That brought down a sulfur too? Oh, how interesting. Look at that. Where's that going to land? All right. You know what? I don't like you sticking up in the air like that. You're not supposed to be doing that. So I'm going to going to go out on a limb here and guess that we'll probably eventually get like a pulsar quartz and maybe even um whatever that white crystal stuff is. What? A rare larva? It's like frickin' Christmas, man. I got myself a rare larva. I didn't even ask for it, and I got it. I feel blessed. <laughs> okay, uh... Wow, look at this. Sulfur and osmium. It's amazing. Okay, so, uh, let's take this stuff back. And, um... We'll wait a little bit, uh, you know, wait for a little bit of time, and then we'll... That's a rare larva. Um, and then we'll go um, pick up the rest of the Oz, since it's kind of hard to get to, you know, with the, the debris and all that. 
Uh, magnesium, I think you're... Yeah, we've got this going on in the overflow. Let's take the larva over into here. And we should probably call this the larva... Uh, L... Wait, knock it off! Larva. Thingy. spelled that like that there you go okay yeah we got a rare larva from a meteorite hmm that kind of reminds me of like you know alien movies and makes me a little uncomfortable I don't know if we should be spreading alien larva on this planet of course uh, alien is a very subjective term in this particular context isn't it we're technically the alien here Ah, okay. Oh, okay. So look at this. This is starting to grow trees along the shore, except for it just shrunk as I got closer to it. So it's just a um, LOD thing, probably. Grab that. You need to be able to, to crouch in this game. Okay, so let's go back um, and what I want to do next is I want to take a couple of tier two ore extractors to the uranium cave and also to the, what I'm hoping is a quartz, a pulsar quartz cave. I mean, that they did have that in the cave, but I just hope the extractor will get that. Um, what am I doing? We're going to put this in here. I'm going to put the sulfur in here. See, look at that. Control click. I'm learning. Takes me a while, but I, f I eventually get there. I will eventually get there. Are you ready to harvest again? Yeah. Let's keep harvesting this stuff. Well, we can make the tier two food grower, but I mean, I just don't know if we need to, you know? We will make it if we get to a point where I'm running out of food to make things that I need to make. If that happens, then we'll then we'll switch to the tier two. But until that happens, we're gonna stick with the tier ones. Let's drink some water. Um, all right, so let's look at this. Oh, we were gonna make this auto crafter too, so we need a super and two Oz's. All right, how big is this thing? Are you telling me that it'll pull from any chests that are in this range? That's an interesting concept. Hmm. All right, why don't we... If that's the case, which it appears to be, why don't we set this up right here? The factory must grow. That's an achievement I just got. Okay. Select a recipe to automatically craft inventories and objects within range. Interesting. What is this? A drone? We're not supposed to be able to make these yet. Oh, how cool. All right. Um, wait a minute. Can we make a drone? Not from that menu. Not from that menu. Hmm. That's really weird. Okay, so it doesn't just automatically pull shit out of the thing and craft it. You have to tell it what you want it to craft. 
So if that's the case, which apparently it is, we're getting an <laughs> we're getting another super alloy storm. This is insane. I can't keep up with it, man. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Okay, um... Can I tell you to do rods? I can. Okay. Well, then, I think what I'm gonna do... Since the game is just throwing super alloy at us like a mofo... I think we're gonna make super alloy. We're gonna automate that. Which, but me that means we need to move this over near the super alloy thingies. Unless... Alright, you can stop now. Jeez, that's loud. Um... Well, no, I think I want to leave this here, but what we'll do is we'll put all of our extra super alloy in these chests. Yeah, okay, so let's choose the super alloy rod. That is really cool. Okay, um, let's move this much aluminum over. Uh, maybe we'll put that in here. And then I'm just going to start loading up these chests with all this all this super alloy that we just got. Maybe we'll leave these individual pieces in here though because we're going to need them. Um All right, yeah, so I'm going to save the game. And I'm going to cut the camera, go out and gather a shit ton of super alloy. And let this thing do its thing. Oh, you know what else we could do with this? We have so much of the basic ores now, we can have it actually make super alloy. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Okay, anyway, yeah, I'll cut the camera, pick up all the super. I'll be, be back in a bit. All right, guys, um, I got all the super alloys picked up and we ended up with, uh, I had eight rods in here f before. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13. We got 14 out, uh, rods out of that plus five individuals uh, when it was all said and done. I really like this thing. This is cool. So, you know, because I just threw everything in here and then it made all the stuff. And yeah, that's that's a pretty neat little setup there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves two more of these. We're going to put one in the uranium cave and one in the, what I hope will be the pulsar quartz cave. Um, and then, yeah, then we'll see where we're at from there. Okay, so we need six Oz, two super alloy rods, and four iridium rods. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six... Two of those and four of these. And yep, that should get us what we need. So let's go, let's uh, actually top off our food here real quick. And let's see, we got a water in an O2, so we're good to go there. We are currently 34%. Almost 35% of the way till, to the insect stage. All right, so let's take off and go get these guys set down. It's interesting how some of the planet still remains desert. I wonder if, given enough time, that even that would 
be terraformed. I don't know. Okay, so this is the uranium cave here. Uh, another, another larva. Okay, let's put this right here. And oh no, okay, hold on. Gotta move it over just a little bit because we couldn't get up the stairs. Um. We're going to want to put like a little shack in here too to store extra ore. So maybe we'll put it right there. Perfect. Okay, so that is getting uranium. I expected that to be the case. Okay, let's gather up enough stuff to make a the usual shed and um, storage situation. Oh, you know what? I forgot to bump my um, drill back up to the tier four. So we gotta do that at some point. Uh, I need some silicon. We need no one more piece of iron as well. Here's some silicon. All right, let's build the shack. That's in the way of something. Okay, we'll build it over here. And um, we need one more silicon to build the tier one or tier two crafting station. Generally just like to have those in case we ever need them for anything. And let's get enough iron to make uh, our first storage chest. I'm sure this is going to uh, generate iron as just like um, byproduct, right? have two uranium it's a beautiful thing okay now let's go do the same thing over at the quartz crystal cave might as well grab that you know what we could do No, that cave's a little further over, so no, I'm going to leave this place here. But let's go ahead and grab the stuff now for making the extra shack in there. Okay, we got the two silicons, we got the two titaniums, but we need more iron. All right, we need one more iron for the building, and then we need three more iron for the first... Uh, chest. And there it is right there. Okay, we got water. Uh, Alright, I think the... I think it's... Uh, this is where the satellite was, right? Yeah. Okay. Hmm, I wonder if that other canyon where that cave is is underwater now. I think it's this one over here. Nope, it's not. Okay. Alright, so even if we just placed it right here, would that be enough? Uh, it's not even let me place it there. Uh, okay, what the hell's going on? Is it just... There's just not enough room in here? Uh... 
Hmm. Maybe, maybe you can't place this in this cave. Okay, let's take both of those. Yeah, I, I don't think it wants me to put it in here. For whatever reason. Okay, well, that's not an option then. At least not in this cave. Is it because there's water in here? Yeah, we'll take that. Um, let's put, since we're not going to build a shack in here, we'll put that stuff away. We'll take this, this, and this. And we don't care about the rest of that stuff. There's another Oz. Oh, okay, well, uh, we'll put that in there. And sulfur. Okay, yeah, so I guess it's not going to let us... Uh, Uh, put it in here. That's kind of a bummer. Well, maybe we'll get um, Pulsar Crystal Meteor Storms later on. Inventory's full. All right, we are not in a good situation because we have no water and, more importantly, no O2 in our inventory. And we need to fix that, at least for the O2. I'm not as concerned about the water just because it, you know, lasts a lot longer. But let's go grab a couple of cobalts. And get ourselves an O2 tank. Yeah, I guess uh, that that's a little bit disappointing. You know that we can't um, that we can't put that in there, but uh, it did not seem to want to let us do that. So if that's what the deal is, that's what the deal is. Here's another larva. Okay. Um. All right. I'm starting to get the feeling like these things are all over the place. <laughs> so. Yeah, look, there's another one there, too. Um, all right, well, at least we got the uranium one down, so it wasn't a total bust, right? I'm going to go back to the base, and we're going to run down and take a quick look at the crater before we wrap up this episode. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, um, uh, we are 39% of the way to the insect stage. Um, let's read this message that we found in... Um, we found a message in that, that fighter ship. Message from... Hmm, did it not record here? This might be it here. No, that's a warden message. Yeah, I think we've read all of that. Yeah, we've read that one. This is the one from Iklos. Yeah, I think we've read that too. So, I don't know, it's almost like it didn't record. The, 
the message from that starship. So uh, that fighter ship, or if that's what that actually is. So we'll have to go back and read it again. Because, uh, you know, um, if you guys watched the last episode, we were kind of <laughs> kind of in a hurry uh, when we did that. So I think, um, let's see here. Oh, oh, let's see if we can process some more blueprints now. Let's we'll grab a couple of those and see what it, if it lets us do anything. No more blueprints to decode for now. It's the for now thing that leads me to believe that at some point we'll be able to resume doing that. Um, I mean, that's how I interpret for now. So we'll see if that's actually the case. All right, I want to make this um, mining spear tier four again. So we need a silicon and a super. All right, so we're back to that. And I have two extra osmium that are not currently fitting in the osmium crate, which is a nice problem to have. Um, we haven't made this DNA manipulator. So I'm not sure what we do with this at this point. Like what kind of DNA are we manipulating? Why don't we make this and just see what it's all about? So we need a super, a bioplastic, explosive, and a zeo. Okay, since this is a DNA manipulator, that should probably go in the bio lab. So why don't we put it in this corner here? Research. Genetic engineer, craft your first DNA manipulator. Okay, so, oh, here we go. Okay, DNA recipes. Ah, gotcha. Okay, so we did a linfolia. This would give us an Eliatus tree, and this would give us a Soleus tree. Oxygen multiplier 125. They're all 125 multipliers. Tree bark, a mutagen, and a pastera seed. We have a mutagen there. You know what? Um, let's actually reset this. I want it to be more like this. Okay. So that's a soleus tree, that's an Eliatus tree. Yeah, let's try this Eliatus tree. So we need a bark and a pestera. Uh, there's pestera there. We probably have more bark ready to harvest. Oh yep, yeah, one right there, okay. Cancel sequencing. All right, so I guess we have to let that do its thing for a bit, and then it'll give us the recipe for this when it's done. But... Okay, so once we get that recipe, how do we actually make it? Do we make it in here? Maybe it'll pop into here. I'll bet you it does. I'll bet you it pops into there. Okay. Just, oh, wow, look at that. We're finally completely loaded up on tree bark. Um, in that case, let's make ourselves another chest for that. Yep, 
Yeah, we'll just keep putting that in the hallway for now. Seems to work. And we should actually also name this Bark. Uh, really? Damn it, Jim. Okay. Yeah, we gotta hold this out. Let's transfer all... Whoops. Uh, transfer all of those to there. And we'll reset this. There we go. Okay, so let's see here. We got all that made. Um, we made our tree spreader. We'll make more of those, of course, for more oxygen production. We made our auto crafter. We made our DNA manipulator. And um, I think we're pretty good to go. I think I think what I'm going to do is go I'll do this off camera, but I'm going to go to the lakeside base and pick up the algae collectors, uh at least the tier 2 algae collectors. And, oh shit, what's the matter? Thirsty. And bring them over here. Uh so they're closer to home. Um or I guess I could I mean they are generating oxygen for us. How much are they How much are they doing? Um yeah, 280. I mean, I, we can afford to just make new ones. So let's leave the ones there. Just leave them there. So they can keep making oxygen for us. And biomass for that matter. Or plants. And I'll just make some new ones and put them in the water near us. Um, I might also... I mean, it is... I'll tell you what. It is kind of handy to have this right outside the front door. Um... And at some point, fairly soon, we're going to be able to make the water filter, which will allow us to drink straight from the lake itself. It's coming up at 7 GTI, and we're at 453 GTI. Use this to create new insects with larvae and mutagens. Oh, that's going to be cool. Yeah, that's just right around the corner for us. Um, yeah. All right. Well, I think, I think what I'll do then is I'll just make a couple new algae, tier two algae, put it out in the lake there. I'm not going to bother putting a water collector out there because I just don't think we need to do that. Um, and then the plan for the next set. Oh shit. We were going to go check out the, uh, all right, well, let's just run over there real quick. Uh, check out the, the crater. The, re the thing is, guys, is I'm trying to... I want to get finish this series before April 10th. Um, and I think we already had that conversation. So, let's just put this extra... Yeah, we'll just put that in there for now. Top off our food. And let's just run over real quick and check out the, the crater. We'll take, we do have one shed over there, as I recall. That's all methane. We'll take two waters and two O2s with us. Okay. Let's just go take a quick look at that before I let you guys go. Uh, next episode, our plan will be to continue exploring. We'll take a, uh, a look at in the canyon there. We poked our head in there in the other episode, but we didn't stick a lot around very long. And um, and then we'll you know we'll check out those other new territories. 
All right, let's head on down here. This is uh, this meteor is quite a bit different situation than it was originally. Does it have any rods left on it? Not that we need them, you know, but I mean, we'll grab them if we can. Okay. Well, for future reference, if we ever want to maximize getting the rods off this thing, we need to do it sooner than we did this time around. But again, not a big deal, really, when it's all said and done. Okay. Um, looks like there might be a, a crate up there. There's a super. Oh. Have these been down here all along? They probably have, and we just never... I mean, because this is all socked in with fog when you first come, you know, down here. Oh, let's... Okay, that's silicon. Um, let's hop back up to our shed and refill our O2 and then we're going to just kind of take a look down under the water there. There was uh, one little bunker that we discovered a long time ago. And I'm going to, I want to pop back down there uh, just to see if there were some, you know, servers that we could have possibly looted and there's something over there like a blue crate or two so we'll check that out too all right so i think yeah this is the place is this all flooded now yeah it is how interesting All right, so this was just one, that was it. There's no other levels to this one, okay. Um. Okay, let's just kind of look around real quick. At the bottom here. I think we did maybe circle this the first time we were down here, but again, you could not see shit because it was just socked in really bad with all the, all the fog. Here's a blue chest. Yeah, I mean, we'll grab it. Nothing to write home to mother about, that's for sure. So there's a, I, I think that's our bunker again. Yeah, it is. Okay. Underwater larva. What do you know? Okay, let's get back up and replant our oxygen. And I just want to kind of go check of those other blue crates that... It appeared we saw over there. Okay, we're doing pretty good on food. We're gonna need to drink pretty soon. So those are way across the way there. Is that, is that a cave over there? Is 
See, we never really came over to the other side of this crater at the top. That's a cave. All right, that's heading north. Um, so that seems to suggest that is that where we're at right there? That that goes in back into the this is the sulfur biome here, and that's the sand falls. Uh, let's, yeah, let's just follow this for a second. Oh, wow, this is... This is interesting. What is this? Nothing we can do anything with. That's good stuff. This is crazy looking in here, man. Okay, we came down that way. Wow, this is like the biggest cave I think I've seen in this game. <clears throat> With maybe the exception of the one that... Hey, we got the beehive, nice. Uh, the one, you know, that has, um, that's near the starter zone. Might as well grab this. See anything else down here? Where does this go? There's a blue crate. All right, we're going to take this, 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 and this, and the. Well, you know what? What the hell? We'll take it all. All right. Where is this going to come out at? Probably over... Ah, uh, yeah, right. Okay, so this goes out into the sulfur biome. That could be... I probably could have made that without taking that O2, but whatever. Let's put... Um that stuff in there. Wow, that that really got us uh, off track, didn't it? <laughs> um, since we're here, though, we might as well empty that. And we'll put... Um, we'll take the sulfur back with us. And actually, I want to make another O2 bottle. Okay, uh, let's let's go back to the crater because I want to check out uh, what was on the other side there. So where does this go? Oh, this probably goes out at that ship. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it goes out to this ship here. Okay. So this is like a multi-directional cave. That was the first ship I think we looted. So we'll come back through here. That goes out to the sulfur biome. So we keep going this direction. This is really cool looking in here, though, man. It'd be kind of cool to uh, actually have a base in here, even. Right. Don't see anything significant under the water. There's another blue crate. I'll take it. Anything down here? Nope. 
Oh! Where are we now? We must be here. We must have popped out of the sandfalls. What is that enormous thing? Yeah, there's the sandfalls right there. Okay, yeah, this is new. We got a little bit of a texture issue there. Take all of that. All right, we're out of room. Oh, look at this, man. Another huge wreck to do. Okay. I think what we should do is set up a, a shack here. Um, there's another blue crate over that way, too. Let's see. We got two O2s, so we're good to go there. Uh. Yeah, we definitely have to explore this thing, but... All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a little shack here. And, um... Let's take one of those right now. Let's find a titanium. So this is a whole new area. I've never been here before. Uh, for me anyway, right? Alright, I need iron, a titanium, and a silicon. All right, I'm going to set up a, a T2 craft station, put some storage chests down, and then when we start the next episode, we'll pick up right where we left off, and we'll investigate this wreck. Let's just take a peek inside of here just to see what this is. Nice. Um, let's just grab that right now. I mean, we want all of this stuff. And we'll start the next episode by checking out this wreck. And I think once we do that, we we need to do we need to do a more thorough exploration of the Grand Canyon area. Uh, but after we do that, then we'll pretty much I think have explored the entire map. Um, because, oh no, 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 that's not true. Uh, we've never been up in this area either, so we'll have to check that out as well. Fun stuff though, man. I just love this, the exploration. Okay, but I'm going to let you guys go here and like I said, we'll pick up right where we left off in the next episode and we'll explore the ship. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.